Welcome to the Modular Clubhouse. I'm Jesper and this is the ROT LFO by Mobula Mobula. So as the ROT LFO's name is suggesting, it is indeed an LFO. And Mobula Mobula go as far as to say this is a funny analog LFO. And I tend to agree with that. And I would love to show everyone why I think that is. Um, on the first glance, it looks like a regular LFO. It is quite small. It's it'll gonna it's gonna fit in your rack, no problems there whatsoever. And it's uh, one of the features I love is the um, the double LEDs that they've included to indicate where you are in the actual cycle. So keep in mind that this. LFO won't go into audio ranges, uh, but it can be a great modulation, well, workhorse if you want, uh, that can truly achieve what you might need. So that being said, I would say let's uh, dive right in. So uh, here we go. So there we go. Just have a quick look at the ROT LFO by Mobula Mobula, which is probably the best name for a modular company out there. Um, what I want to do is I just want to show you what this module can do, how you can use it, and of course what kind of wave shapes it actually has. So uh, without further ado, let's just dive right in. So I'm going to be using VCV rack and the built-in scope, and I'm going to be using the Expert Sleepers ES1 to actually well show you what we have here. So I'm just going to grab one of my cables. And I'm just going to connect that to the pointy output. So I've got it set to even and normal. And if I connect that to the scope that I have there, you'll start to see that we get a, well, a pretty straightforward triangle wave. It's extremely sharp. No problems there whatsoever. But if I then turn it to slow and if I turn the rate up a bit, you'll see that this is a bit of a smushed triangle wave and you can do great things with this because it's 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 sharper it is um, probably something that you can use more as a trigger or really have something really gnarly if you if you pass this through to a um, uh, to an envelope or something like that or if you use this on a VCA you can do great things with this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this output and I'm going to put that into the, well, the actual VCA on the Z2040. And let's just have a quick listen as to well, how this sounds. So I'm going to grab a drone from the graphic VCO and I'm going to patch that through the Z2040 and grab the output and put that in my mixer out of that. And let's see what we get. That's really pointy, right? Let's go back to normal. Much smoother. And this is, of course, the, the more regular triangle wave. So you have that selection available if you want. So uh, that being said, let's uh, have a quick look and listen to round so instead of just modulating the VCA there I'm just going to modulate the cutoff frequency and make sure that we have that here we go So perfect sine wave there. Something we can work with. And if we then go to slow, turn up the rate again. You see the same thing happen to the sine wave. It's a bit more pointy. It's a bit smushed, but that's no problem there whatsoever. But when things really get fun is if you flip the switch from even to tilt. And 
turn the rates up a bit. So that is an LFO shape I've never seen before and I love it. You can do so many beautiful things with this. As you already hear, I'm now using this to modulate my, my color frequency on the Z2040. But let's play with that a bit and let's just make it a bit more nuanced. That's great, isn't it? Let's just grab a bit of a different sound for that. So this is how that then sounds and how this works. Let's go back to normal. Lower the rate a bit. So in the normal mode, you will see less of a tilt effect on the actual wave shape, but still it is significant. If we then have a look at the pointy one, you'll see that we have a shorter on-ramp and a longer off-ramp as opposed to the effect we saw on the rounded one where we had a longer on-ramp, I should say, and a shorter off-ramp uh, resembling a, uh, a fluid wave more if you uh, catch my drift, pun intended. And then of course you have the same thing for the square wave. If you put everything on even and on normal, you'll see that we just get a, well, a regular square wave with uh, even up and down pulses. If we slow that down a bit and turn the rate up, you don't see that same effect where things get a bit sharper, but if you put it into tilt, it actually acts as though you are doing pulse width modulation where you get a much well a slimmer pulse and a longer down in the actual uh, wave period so that's one of the things that you can then do and of course what this also offers is you can use any sort of cv to to influence the the cv rate so i'm just going to grab another v, uh, uh, LFO to modulate that. So I'm going to grab the ONA right there, grabbing the sine wave. And I'm going to be using that to modulate the actual frequency or the rate, as I should say. can do so many great things with two, just two LFOs. I'm just playing with the resonance and the cutoff frequency and the um, uh, the CV settings on the Z2040. So that's what you're hearing. I'm just gonna play around with this and just let you hear what fun you can have with a flexible LFO. So is this gonna replace all of the LFOs in your system? Hell no. But is this going to be one of those great modules you're going to get in your rack and you're going to have way too much fun with? More than you ever expected? Yes, absolutely. Um, this is probably going to be my my LFO, my go-to LFO for a lot of the things that I'm going to be doing where I want to truly get that punky sound to it. Um, one of the downsides of this LFO is, of course, it does not really go into audio range. Um, but you can still modulate it with, with additional CV. So it's just a fun 
analog LFO, exactly what Mobula Mobula said it would be. So no, no case of false advertising there. This is absolutely just fun to work with. It's extremely playable. I like the uh, the tilt and the slower functions. I love how they interact and how they influence the wave shape. And you can just do great things with this. So with that being said, I think it's time to go back to the studio and um, let's uh, wrap this up, shall we? So there we are. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the ROT LFO by Mobula Mobula. So I do have to thank them for making this episode possible uh, and for actually sponsoring it as well. Um, we will have Gregory Pruden from Mobula Mobula on the Modular Clubhouse Clubhouse Meet next week. So that's going to be uh, June 16th of 2021. So if you want to join, just uh, let me know and I'll shoot the uh, invite over to you as well. Um, other than that, I would say, well, I hope everyone stays healthy, stay safe and enjoy this video at least. Other than that, I would say, take care. Cheers.